Hello everyone and welcome. You guys know that I'm always looking for new tools to introduce to you guys so you're aware of what's on the market and you have more choices when shopping for tools. Now I recently came across this set of both drill driver and impact driver for the price of what some companies charge for just one tool. This set also brings the charger and two batteries included making it even better value. Now this company Greenworks has been around for quite a while making battery powered yard tools, chainsaws, etc. So when I saw that they're now making hand tools, I decided to give it a try. So let's unbox this combo pack and see how they perform. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another product review video or DIY video. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Here's a shot of the box for you. And let me open this guy up and see what we got. Comes in a nice storage case. Let's open this puppy up. Alright guys, so when you open this puppy up, this is everything you get. Now this is the Greenworks 24 volt drill driver and impact driver set available on Amazon, link in description below. Now at the time of making this video, this combo kit retails for $129.99. But they do have a $10 discount coupon on their Amazon page making it even lower than that. So what do you get when you open this puppy up? Well you get the drill driver, you get the impact driver, you get two 2 amp hour 24 volt lithium ion rechargeable batteries, you get the charger, you get two belt clips in case you like using that, and you get a nice convenient bag to carry it all in. So a very nice convenient package right here. Now this package comes with a three year warranty. At least that's what it says on the box. I did check out their website and on their website it says four years. So maybe that box was printed before they updated their warranty. So it's either three or four years warranty that you get right now. Now let's talk about these tools individually and go through them in more detail. Alright guys, so let's start off with the drill first and move on from there. Now the dimensions on this drill are 8 inches in height by 8 inches in length and about 2.5 inches in thickness. Your typical drill dimensions. It has a nice rubber over mold pretty much everywhere that you're going to be gripping it. Front, back, the bottom down here, the top, the back for pushing, grabbing, anywhere that you can want to get a good grip. You have a lot of rubberized over mold so you can get a good grip there. Even on the chuck itself, it has a partial overmold here so you can get a good grip when you're tightening it because it is a keyless chuck. It is metal though. As you can see by this, it is a metal chuck. So that's very good right there. It's going to be more durable. It does have an LED light right here. As you can see right there, it lights up your work area and stays on for quite a while even after you let go. So you can use it as a flashlight when you're working on something in a dark area It'll light up whatever you're working on. As you saw right there, stayed on for quite a while. The batteries have a convenient little LED right there on the front telling you exactly how charged up they are. So that's very convenient right there. And this is where you put the belt clip. If you like using the belt clip, it would go right there. You insert it, put the screw on it, and that's where it goes. Now one convenient thing to point out about this combo kit is that it comes with a half inch keyless chuck drill. Where most of the kits that you buy out there, or even most of the drills that you buy off that you're starting off with, are 3 8 inch. So half inch gives you a lot more flexibility for future use where you can put in much larger bits and have a lot more torque with this unit right here. Speaking about torque and RPMs and so forth, this comes with a two speed transmission where you can select it back here, either one or two. And this comes where the RPMs are on level one, it's anywhere from zero to 380 RPMs. On level two, it's anywhere from zero to 1450 RPMs. And the torque on this unit is 310 inch pounds or 35 Newton meters. Now this also has a 19 position clutch where it has 18 different positions as you can see plus the drill position. So 18 plus 1 or 19 however you want to look at it. So there you go. That's the drill itself. Let's look at the impact driver. All right. So let's take a look at the one quarter inch hex chuck impact driver. Now this is a really compact, really stubby unit. The dimensions on this unit are only five inches in length 
and 8 inches in height with 2.5 inches in thickness up here. So very compact, very small unit. Now this has, just like the drill, a very nice rubber overmold where it has coverage everywhere on the front, on the back, on the top, on the bottom down here. Everywhere that you want to get a good grip on it for pushing or anything, you can get a nice grip whether your hands are dirty, oily, greasy, sweaty, etc. And it has a variable speed trigger as well. And your LED light right there, just like the drill, all you have to do is press down and you get an instant light that can help you light up your work area wherever it is that you're working. Now this unit puts out 3500 IPMs or impacts per minute at 2800 RPMs. The torque on this unit is 1950 inch pounds or 220 newton meters. And it is powered by a 24 volt high efficiency battery that gives you more torque and longer runtime. And these two amp hour 24 volt batteries are charged by a rapid charger that will give you a charge from zero to fully charged in about an hour. And one thing to point out also is that for Greenworks, the battery design is consistent across the board. So any battery that you have will fit all their tools. They have the one design for all their tools. And like I was saying earlier, this unit is very compact. If you want to see a comparison between this brushless unit and a brushed unit, you can compare it to the Bauer unit that I have right here and you'll see exactly how small this is compared to a brushed unit. The Bauer unit is brushed. This is brushless right here. You can see it is much smaller, allowing you to get it into even tighter places. But on top of that, you can compare it to another brushless unit. You can see right here my chemo. This is a brushless unit as well and it is still bigger than this one. Let me put them up so you can see right here when you compare the two side by side, the chemo is longer. So this Greenworks is a newer design, which is a much stubbier, more compact unit. And if you want to see it next to a brushed unit, you can see right there how it makes a massive difference in size. So that gives you an idea right there what you're looking at when you're buying this tool. So now that we've looked at how the body works and the dimensions and torque and specs and all that, let's put them to some testing and see how they perform. All right, guys, let's start off doing some testing with the drill itself. And I put a 5 16 inch auger bit in it and let's do some drilling, see how it performs. Right now I have the transmission set to number two, so that should go a little faster. Let's see how that does. There you go, that's not too bad. Let's switch over to number one. That should be a little slower and torquier. Let's put a bigger bit on it and see how it performs. All right, so here we go with a one and one eighth spade bit. That's the biggest bit that I have. Let's see how it performs. I put it back on number two. Let's see how it drills. And there you go. Spade bits can be notoriously difficult because of the two tips and how it's all split up into three points right there. But it did the job, no problem at all. Let's do it another time. And there you have it. 
And number one, it would go a bit slower, but there you have it. Number two is a bit faster. All right, guys, let's test the impact driver now and see how this puppy performs. Now, most of the time in most videos, if I was doing the drill all by itself, I would show you how the drill drives and drills both at the same time because that's all you got. But in this combo kit, you get the drill driver and the impact driver. So what are you going to do? You're going to use the impact driver for impacting screws and so forth. So let's use this puppy instead and see how it performs. Now I have a battery of tests set up here and we're going to start off easy and work our way up. We're starting off with one and a quarter inch screws right here, see how they perform. And let me put my hand there in case you can't see them. One and a quarter inch screws right there, see how they perform. We'll move to two inch screws, see how they perform three inch screws, and then these two bigger guys and see how they perform. Now, most impact drivers can't handle this really gigantic one. So it wouldn't surprise me if it doesn't handle that one. But at least you'll get a good idea of most common ones that you're gonna be using, how it performs with those guys. So if it doesn't handle that, don't give it too many bad points because that is normal. Most of them don't handle it. Most of them get it about halfway in, so I would expect it would do about the same. So let's get started. And we'll start off easy and let's go with the one and a quarter inch screw, see how that performs. All right, that's in there. Next one. No trouble at all. Let's move on to the two inch screws. All righty, that's done. Another two inch screw. And as you can tell, I'm not pre-drilling any of these screws that I'm putting in, so that way it makes it even tougher and we see how the tool performs. Normally, under the most circumstances, I would recommend that you pre-drill before you insert the screws. Let's try this one. This is a three inch screw. No trouble there. Try another one. And there we go. That was no trouble, except it started spinning on the head, but it wasn't the problem of the tool itself. And in case you can't tell, this is a 4x4 block of lumber. All right, so let's switch out the bits here and let's move on to the next one. And this is a 7 16 inch head on this unit. So let's put this puppy in and see how it performs. Well, there you go. Drove that one in with no trouble at all. Let's try the next one. This has a three quarter inch head on it. Let's see how this puppy performs. Now this is a really big monster, so let's see how this guy does. Actually, there you go. Drove it all the way in. I'm actually quite impressed. So it did a very good job. There you have the Greenworks tool. All right, guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of the Greenworks 24 volt drill driver and impact driver combo kit. I think this is a really good combo kit for the money. It brings both a drill driver and impact driver for a reasonable price. It's a 24 volt system, so the tools are a bit stronger than your standard 20 volt system. It has a really long warranty and both tools seem to be quite strong. You get a one half inch drill driver instead of the standard 3 8 inch drill driver, giving you more flexibility for future products. As you saw, both tools did a really good job handling whatever test I put them through. 
Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.